Hey everyone. Good morning. This is Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue here for our morning chat, our morning cricket chat. Um, we actually worked on, on Saturday night, we worked on some really great Christmas crafts, um, mostly cards and tags, and we kind of ran out of time. So I I promised that we would uh, spill over into today and talk about these lovely draw and cut gift tags. So um, I want to show you how to do them on the joy. Good morning, Dorothy. Hi, Don. Good morning, Wanda. Um, so let's wait until we all get on and we can say good morning. But these are um, lovely. Aren't they adorable? Look at this little reindeer. So cute, and it's and it's um the nose is even look at that the nose is even uh, filled in so cute, and these tags are perfect for the joy, but also can be made on the Explorer or the Maker. Um, on the Explorer Maker, you could make up to four at a time, and on the Joy, you can make up to two at a time, and uh, really only requires a few things. Uh, requires some paper, and I'm going to show you what I use for paper, and then um, for these tags. You do need a pen, a black pen, and it has to be a Cricut Joy pen if you're working with the Joy. Remember, they're not interchangeable. So, um, and then a little bit of glue, and that's about it. Um, it. It's really simple to do these, and they've got a real wow factor, if you ask me. And what's great is you can make these ahead of time, sort of tuck them away, and then... Um, and then come uh, back to it for for the holidays. And also what's great is that they're not just Christmas tags. There's, you know, there's obviously there's this beautiful one for Hanukkah. There's a season's greetings and there's sort of a cutesy one. But there's also some really fun um other ones that I want to show you and I'm going to show you on my iPad. So good morning to everyone and welcome and thank you for sharing Emmy. Um, so this is Cricut Chat. My name is Rita and if you're just joining us, um, let's see, we've been doing this now for going on three months and we have a morning program that's all about cricket and it usually lasts about half hour to 45 minutes depending and then we also have um that's monday through friday nine o'clock and then we have date night which is on saturday night at seven o'clock so we always do oh hi dawn welcome back <laughs> so we always do these cricket projects and i use all the machines this one's going to use the cricket joy but um if you don't have a joy this particular project can work also on the Explorer or Maker. Very simple to do. So here are these wonderful, there's six of them. I think that's all there are in this group. And I'm going to show you how to find them in the in the image uh, search engine. And then I'll show you how to um, prepare your paper and make the cards, put them together. So I think today we might be making um, the, the adorable reindeer one. And possibly if we have time, we'll do this one, the season's greetings, because it has a slightly different um, way of doing it than than the the reindeer so this will give you a good representation of all of them so if you want to find these in Cricut design space first you're going to open up a canvas so so you'll be on here if you're working with your ipad or your phone you would not be on home but rather on canvas okay and i'm going to actually start my um start from scratch and you start from scratch if you want to start over you hit new project okay and then you replace whatever is there so here i am my blank canvas and i'm going to go down here to image now you don't have to do use your joy with your iPad and I want to make sure that you know that you can use your laptop, you can use your phone, um, you can use your desktop. But I'm using on my iPad because it's easy to show you and it's... Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 no, no, stop. It's a lot more... Um, 
it's a, uh, oh, Pat, <gasps> Pat, are you feeling okay? Oh, I hope you're feeling better. I'm so glad you could finally join us. Yeah, I missed you. Um, okay, so sorry about the dogs barking. Anyway, so we're going to go to the image, image search engine and get there just by hitting image. And we're going to the highlighted categories and we're going to go to my favorite place, image sets. These are all the sets of images and you can search them by the title of the, um, of the image set. So one thing somebody asked me about, like for instance, they were looking at one image set and they saw something in there that had a different name than the image set. So I think it was, the image set was celebrate the day and she saw a picture of something like, I don't know if it was a sugar skull and she tried to search by sugar skull. And the thing is that with the image sets, it only searches by the name of the set. So you have to sort of know, or you have to sort of take your chances when you put in a word. So I tend to put in something, um, uh, very simple. You know, I know, I happen to know that this particular group is called draw and cut. So I'm putting in the word draw. And so when I come, what comes up are these, all these 17 different image sets. So that just kind of illustrates what I'm talking about. So if you use a simple word like draw or spring or summer or, um, card even, they will, it will bring up a bunch of of these image sets, okay? If you're too specific, it will lead to no results or very few results. So, so this is the grouping that we're going to be working on. It's called Draw and Cut Holiday Tags. And you'll notice that this is a access um, grouping. I have used this one several years and I really love it. Um, so I, I'm just really enamored of this particular one. I love that it does the drawing and the cutting and it makes these tags and oh, I love everything about it. So you'll see that um, in addition to the actual finished tag like this one or this one, um, it also gives you the different elements. So if you wanted to just make something with the Star of David, or you wanted to grab this season's greetings and put it inside of a card, you just have to do that. You can just grab it or Merry and Bright here. But um, in this case, we're making the tag. So we would just click on whatever tag we want. In this case, we want this one and this one. Well, heck, why don't we do them all? So there's one, two, three, four, five. And so you see them down here? They're ready to go into my canvas. And when I'm ready to put it in my canvas, I hit insert. And here they come. And you'll notice they come in pretty small. Um, so you do need to resize them. And I like my gift tags really big. Um, I just like a bigger tag, more room on the back to write. And I don't know, it just looks really cool on the package. So let's show you how to resize these, okay? So here is our season's greetings. And boy, is it really small. If you want to see how small it is, we can go here to edit. And look, it says the width is not even an inch 0.66 of an inch and the height is one just over one inch now if I want to change that and I do I'm just going to hit on this the height here and then I'm going to change it to let's say five now you notice I don't need to change both the width and the height and that's because there's a little lock and that lock means that when you when you change one, whether it's the height or the width, the um, the other one will move proportionately. When you have it unlocked, it would just mean you're changing that one parameter, whether it be height or the width. So um, I tend to keep that locked because I want it to um, change in proportion to the other one. Otherwise, you could end up with some pretty um, weird looking graphics. So here is 
the one that I changed to five. So why don't we go ahead and do that again so I can show you. So I click on the image so that it has the little, um, the little box around it. Go down to edit right here and I'm gonna change the, this one here, I'm gonna change the width. I'm gonna change it to five. Okay, so you just keep going. This one's round. So um, let's change this one to five. And see, just for good measure, we'll do them all. Uh, five. And this one here. Come on, he's hiding in the back. Five. Okay, so here we go. And now are now they're too big and they don't show very well. So I'm going to make the screen a little smaller. So here we go. Here are five tags that we can do. And each of these tags um, has some element of writing on them. This particular one has writing on, I think it's all three um, layers. This one has two different color writing. Um, and this one, I think the lay, I think the writing's on two. Um, or maybe this is too. Yeah, and this one here is is like a little like as I showed you, kind of like a, a little overlay onto this. Okay. So remember though, when you're resizing that the joy has certain parameters that um, you don't have so much of a concern about with the other, um, the other machines. And that is that one of the um, parameters must not exceed 4.25 inches. And that is what you have when you have a mat. A joy mat okay is that it's it's actually like four and a quarter inches and then you can either get the six inch mat or the 12 inch mat now what do you use for paper well I've got a great solution that I use for my paper and that is um, everybody knows me that I buy a lot of this eight and a half by 11 inch paper and this is um it's cardstock and I get it at Michael's and they sell it in a pack of 50 and usually like in a color scheme like rainbow or Christmas or uh, spice market is one of them. So they give you 50 uh, sheets of eight and a half by 11. This paper cuts wonderfully with all the Cricut machines. Um, it really, it's not textured or have any kind of details on it. It's just basic cardstock. It cuts beautifully and it's inexpensive. You can usually, it retails for 50 sheets, retails for like five or six dollars, but it's often on sale sometimes as low as like two dollars for um, a pack and I buy it in all the sheets well what I found out when the joy launched is that you can take this sheet of paper and turn it into a couple of different things if you cut it directly down the middle to make two columns or two long strips it does great with um, with the Cricut mat. So let me show you. And you can put it here on the mat. The only thing you have to be careful of is just it's half of this um, this way cut this way is about four and a quarter, and the mat's slightly bigger than that. Okay, um, so you'll have this little tiny strip here, but it's a great way to to get some paper a fifty. Uh, pack sheet uh, 50 pack of this paper if you cut it this way would yield you a hundred um, or more actually if you're not using the length okay um, so it's it's really economical um, and what's the other thing so if you take this paper and cut it the the this way the wide way, um, it actually creates insert cards, um, the cards that you buy in the packs. And we've demonstrated that before. We just cut it halfway through and then you fold it and it creates an insert card. But for today, we're cutting it the long way to columns, okay? And um, how do I cut it? I do cut it um, 
you know what, Jennifer, Jennifer's asking about heavy cardstock. I actually don't like heavy cardstock as much. I, I don't think that, I mean, I think that for the, and maybe it's because I've been working with the medium cardstock, but I think that the medium cardstock cuts better, um, especially if you have not a brand new blade or not a brand new mat. Um, it just seems better. And Honestly, you can get the thickness by just adding layers. So that's why I use the medium. Um, and just as for, for what it's worth, you can cut your paper using something like this. It's called a personal trimmer. And you just take the, the paper and depending on how yours works, this one's a Cricut one, but, um, and you line it up towards the left-hand side where there's a ruler and half of this is is four and a quarter, right? So you get two sheets of four and a quarter just by doing this. See, so easy. So let's go back to our iPad and cut out uh, one of these. Let's cut out this one first. So I have my joy, I gotta move it over so you can see it. And here's my iPad, I'm gonna just hide these so I don't have to cut them all at once. And I do that by hitting the layers tab down here. And I hit this little eyeball and then it makes it disappear. It doesn't delete it, it just makes it disappear. See that? So I've got it selected, hit the eyeball. Or I can select it over here and hit the eyeball back and forth. Okay, so this is the one we're going to work on. The season's greetings. I like this one because it's three layers and all three layers have some bit of drawing. So it's really going to show you how you switch out the um, blade for the pan. Okay, so we're going to hit go or make it actually make it. And we get a choice of the type of project that we're doing. Now, remember, the Joy is designed to work with what's called smart materials. And smart materials do not need a mat to cut. Um, but the rest of materials, like cardstock, have to be cut on a mat. Um, and I'm sure there are people that will say, you know, oh, you can cut this without a mat. But honestly, I just... I've never bothered with that. I just follow the instructions. I'm kind of a rules follower, I guess. But um, if you can make it work without a mat, that's just fabulous. Good for you, you know. Um, so I'm going to choose, because I'm working with cardstock, which is not a smart material, I'm going to choose on the mat. Okay, and you'll see what comes up is I get three mats here. And um, they each have writing on them. And I know that because it says up here, draw and cut. Now, if I wanted to make any changes with this, for instance, if I wanted to make two at a time, um, I can go up here and change my project copies to two. And then I can change the size of my mat to the 12 inch the 12 inch mat, if I wanted to, I could cut two at a time, but to save time, we're not gonna do that today. So here we have the three mats. We have white, red, and green, and we can do them in any order, and we're gonna hit continue. And that's gonna bring us to our materials. We have to select our materials. Yeah, you can, just make sure, Nancy's asking about two by three stock cards um, that you bought by mistake, you can use those. You just have to make your cards fit within that three inch, two by three inch parameter. But for sure, you could use them. Um, on this size, maybe not, but just make them smaller, make them like three inches or whatever. So now here we are on the materials listings and you notice that I don't have any favorites except for faux leather selected, but I can also hit popular and it comes up with the po most popular um, materials and there are a lot of them. Or if I wanted to go to all materials, I could do that and all materials shows me all the compatible materials with my joy. Okay, so in this case, we're using a medium 
cardstock. And you'll notice here, it does also tell me that I need to put in my pen, my midnight pen in the clamp, and then I'm going to need my blade eventually. And then I have to load the material into my machine. So we're gonna do the white one first. So I've put the white sheet on here on my mat, make sure it's down there really good. And we're going to load it into the machine. And remember it has to go underneath these little guides and the machine sort of checks to make sure that the mat is aligned correctly. Um, and what it wants to do is write. Um, write first, because remember we're working with the bigger machines, it always does um, scoring, then writing, and then cutting. Well, the Joy doesn't do scoring, so it's going to do writing first and then cutting. So I need to put in the pen. Well, the Joy has only one clamp, um, and that's where the blade usually is held. You take it out just by opening the clamp and taking out. This is the Joy um, blade housing, and the blade is in here. So you're just gonna put that aside. And this is a Joy pen. It's a fine point 0 0.4 pen. And we do this a little bit differently. In the larger machines, we have to support the clamp. But in the Joy, we don't have to click it in and support the clamp. We just simply have to just drop it in and close the clamp and hit go right here. So I'm hitting go, and it's going to do the writing first, which is what it's doing now. This is a great project, yes, for beginners, as somebody mentioned, but it's also a great project for working with the grandkids um, or, you know, just for a little craft afternoon, craft afternoon that you can sit at the kitchen table um, or, you know, even at the dining room table or whatever and do some cutting out. It doesn't take up a lot of room and it can easily be cleared. One of the things that's sort of the downfall of um, of the larger machines is it takes up a lot, a big footprint of space. And it's hard to bring it out and in, so I just leave mine out all the time. Okay, so it's done with the writing, and now you see I've got a little window that says I need to change to the blade. So I'm gonna just open the clamp, take my blade, put it in, close the clamp, and I have to hit go on my iPad. So here's go. And now it's going to cut out the the uh, white. You see it cuts, it's cutting out the white part of our three-page tag. And this is a really cool tag, I'll show you, because it has like cutouts in the white. And then there's there's writing on the red, which is really cool. And then there's these green holly um, leaves. Okay, so the first mat is done. I just have to unload it. We'll take it off so you can see. You see, so it has the writing and it has, this is a cutout for your ribbon, but here is a cutout for the red to show through. So let's go and do the red part or the whichever, the red or the green part. red. It's coming up as red on my on my screen. So let's put the red on there. Get it on there really good. You want your mat to be sticky. All right. So here is my red one. We're going to Oh, you see this message? Select an accessory. It must be that my Bluetooth has dropped off for some reason. So I need to go to my settings and look at my Bluetooth and connect my joy. Here's my joy. And I'm connecting. So you have to be connected through Bluetooth to run the joy, okay? So here we are. We're going to, it, it kind of like, took us back a step um, and we're going to do this red one again popular materials medium cardstock and I need to put in my pen again 
because remember the pen goes first. Take that out. Do not push it down, just drop it in and then take my mat, guide it through those guides and wait for the machine to assess that the, the mat is incorrectly and then hit go on my screen. So there's no buttons on the top of this um, at all. So uh, if you are used to the other machines with the buttons on there, there's no buttons at all. It's all done on your Design Space Canvas, okay? Yeah, this is a great introductory machine for people who have never crafted before. It's also great for for um, experienced crafters. It's telling me I need to take out my pan and put my put my uh, blade back, and I hit go on my screen. So um, it's great for you know I like it, and I have all the machines. So for me, it's it's like it's fun because it's very small and portable, and I can use it anywhere. And when it first came out, if you have been with me for a while, you know that I I spent a month in my um, in my kitchen when there was, it was kind of cold actually that time of year. So I spent a month in my kitchen doing the cutting and I had to come back here to my uh, studio and it was a lot of fun. So there's the second piece and see there's the writing on there. And then the third piece is just the green um, leaves. So let's do that same thing. I'm putting my paper on And I'm choosing my material and I've got to put in my pan and load my mat. So simple. And again, if you're making a lot, um, nope, no need to buy any, um, any more tags. Um, but if you're using a longer mat, you can make two of these at a time. If you're using the other machines with an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet, you can get four tags on one, one sheet out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11. So it's very economical these, um, and that's when it's sized at five inches. You could make them smaller and you get more on there. But again, I like my, um, my tags really big. I, I guess I have sort of wide writing or something. So it's now done and I've got to put for the last time, put my blade in and hit go on my screen. And it's going to cut out the three little leaves. And then I'm going to show you how to put it together. Now the um, reindeer one cuts out uh, in th its three layers. It's got the off white for the bottom. And then the second layer is this teal blue, or you can use a, another blue. And um, it cuts out the letters that merry and bright so that the off white shows through and then, uh, and the stars. And then the um, reindeer is cut out separately and written on. And I just think this is really a fun one to do, so. Oh, oh no no oh no 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 sorry everybody walks their dogs at this time of the morning so okay so we have our three layers let me just show you how they go together so here's the white layer and here's the red layer and see how they when you put them over one over the other the the white over the red that the um writing pokes through right there, so cute. And we just need a little bit of glue to um, get those together. Don't use a lot of glue. You don't want it to squish out on your layers. And I use this glue, it's called Art Glitter Glue. You don't have to use it, um, but it's a nice glue and it's great for working with paper crafts. So there's my two layers and then on my mat I peel away and look I have my three um, leaves and this one goes here whoops come on this one goes here and then this one goes here I just have to glue them on
there's something really nice about a handmade gift tag too on a present. It's really like a card um, that goes with a present, I think. Okay, and there you go, and you're done. The only thing you need is a little bit of, of ribbon or twine or something to complete your card. Isn't that beautiful? You got the glue. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So um, these are just, let's see, there's here are three of the six that you get in this, um, in this image set called Draw and Cut Holiday Cards that you can cut um, on your on your joy or also on your other machines very easily you saw us do it this is a very wonderful little craft to do with kids um on cutting thin and curvy i tried cutting them several times last night okay so maria is asking a question about cutting thin and curvy letters um she tried to cut them last time for a card and it wasn't cutting um in the case of if you're cutting out thin or very curvy or both thin and curvy letters. Um, what I would suggest is you change your setting to custom and then choose cardstock for intricate cuts. It slows down the machine. I don't believe that um, there is a setting for that on um, on the joy but if you're cutting on your maker or your explore machine if you choose a it's a slower setting and it will cut it twice but it will cut it like very um a little more with a little more precision called a uh, cardstock for intricate cuts also when you're cutting out something that's very intricate it's important to use a really clean mat um, because sometimes the mat gets so dirty that the that the cardstock doesn't stick as well and it lifts ever so slightly and that causes a problem with getting the blade on the material because it's constantly pushing the paper down okay so that is it for today uh, or at least for today's craft this is draw and cut holiday tags which is in Cricut design space under Cricut access so it's free to anybody that's an access member yes definitely um definitely try that and do try yes maria try those um those little tips sometimes sometimes it's your blade but it's with the new blades the ones that are made with german carbide um it's often not the blade it's other things sometimes it's the mat sometimes it's just the setting or um or the paper that you're using so it's important to try those so okay that's it for today we're kind of oh we're we're keeping it short today which is nice how do you clean a very dirty mat okay lynn um with the exception of the card mat which has a special like a flap on the front you can clean these mats and you can clean them over and over i mean there is nothing like a brand new mat i, I have to say <laughs> you know because i just love that brand new mat but to clean them I just bring them to my kitchen sink and I use a um a sponge like with the scrubby on the side and I use hot soapy water and sometimes I, I will soak them for just a little bit and then I just take the sponge and just use that the scrubby side and do that because um there's lint what happens when you work with paper a lot of lint gets left behind so once you lift that lint up and you just have to rinse it off and then drip it dry and it, you'll get the stick back and you can do that many times don't use a solvent okay <laughs> thanks Shelly yeah you know so I will say there's nothing like a brand new mat um but you can clean these and they will come back to their stickiness because really the what's taking the stickiness away is not that it's it's gone it's that there's lint sort of paper lint embedded in the mat and you do you should probably keep the covers I never do but um but that's how I keep the mats clean um and then when 
worst comes to worst, if you want to re-stick your mat, and I have done this, I don't do it all the time, but worst comes to worst, you can, and you've washed it, and it's just not sticky anymore, and you maybe you're waiting for your mat to come in the mail, or whatever the case may be, you can use something like this, which is a two-way glue, only the two-way glue. Um, this one is by Zig Memory System. And what it means by two-way is that once it dries, um, it will have a stick. So in this case, it's like a chisel tip. It's a blue glue, and then you would put it on. I usually, when I do it, I just put it on like the just the edges here, allow it to dry, and when it dries, it goes from blue to clear, and it will bring a little bit of stick back, okay? All right, so um, that's it for today. Tomorrow, we're doing um, some great ornaments that are easy to store so you can fold them flat so because we're working in July on Christmas ornaments. Um, so we're going to be doing that. Those are from Anna Griffin. And um, some of those can be cut on the Joy, although I think I probably will use my maker tomorrow. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Um, and if you want, you can share it. And this will also be available on the replay in the groups and on YouTube later this morning. Um, I, I hope you have a wonderful morning. Try these out. They're really fun and they're they're so easy and there's just a real wow factor with them and they're really not that hard to achieve. All right. Um, thanks everyone. Thank you, Constance. Um, I really enjoyed spending time with you today and we'll see you again tomorrow at nine o'clock. Take care of yourself.